Hello and warm welcome to all of you all. Creativity. Can you build creativity? Can you actually teach creativity? But my idea of creativity is a triangle theory. If you are curious, if you know more what you were not knowing so far, you become creative. And as you become creative, you also become critical thinker. That is in my experience. But creativity skills cannot be taught. But but you need to learn it anyhow. One of the best content that I've come across and I'm trying to develop it for you all is creativity. Let's deep dive into it, know the definition and also see what tips and examples that we can possibly draw. Let's begin. Creativity is a valuable workplace skills because it can be a useful tool for developing new ideas, increasing efficiency and devising solutions to complex problems. While you may have natural creativity skills in certain forms, it is a skill that can be learned and developed over time. In this particular shoot, we'll discuss what creativity is and how you can take advantage of creativity skills in your day-to-day -day tasks. What is creativity? Creativity is the ability to think about a task or a problem in a new or different way or the ability to use the imagination to generate new ideas. Creativity enables you to solve complex problems or find interesting ways to approach tasks. If you're creative, you look at things from a unique perspective. You can find patterns and make connections to find opportunities. There are some risks involved with being creative but you can show you are self-motivated to try things that have not been done before. Examples of creative skills. There are several kinds of creative skills that you can practice to become more creative in the workplace. Used in combination, they can be effective in helping you think differently about a problem or a task. They include making connections, asking questions, making observations, networking, experimenting, making connections. Let's try and think this. When you are creative, you find connections between different ideas and use those connections to solve problems. Often these connections happen when you aren't actively thinking about the problem or task. Something you read or something someone says connects with the problem and you see it a new way. Being in a different environment or experiencing something for the first time can also create connections that help you view tasks differently. Number two, asking questions. Being creative sometimes allows you to challenge accepted or conventional wisdom. You may wonder why you do a task a certain way or why you have to follow specific procedures. There may be times when the reason is no longer relevant, but everyone is used to doing it that way. This allows you to look for better ways to do that task or revise the procedures to make them more relevant. Number three, making observations. You can discover fresh ways of doing things by observing the world around you. Watching how people work can inspire you to think of ways to help them be more efficient. The way someone approaches a task might give you ideas of how to help someone else who performs a similar task. Paying close attention to how people use products or services can help you see how well they function and then you can devise ways to improve them. Networking. When we are creative, we can usually enjoy a diverse company and network with people who are unlike themselves. Being around people from different backgrounds can expose you to new ideas and inspire creative thinking. Talking and working with people who view the world differently can help you gain new perspectives when approaching your work. Experimenting. Bringing out your creativity may help you experiment. No matter how unusual an idea might be, 
a creative person is willing to test it and see if it works. They see failure as an opportunity to learn and improve. To develop this skill, keep working on a problem, adjusting and rethinking your ideas until you find a solution. How to improve creativity skills? There are several activities and exercises you can try that can help improve your creativity. These include number one, try the circle challenge. Draw 20 circles, then set a stopwatch for 30 seconds. Make each circle into a unique picture before the timer ends. This exercise forces you to think about the same thing in different ways. Repeat it periodically to see how your thoughts change over time. Number two, use a sketch pad. As well as exercising creativity, drawing or writing down ideas can help you process information. If you are listening to a presentation, you should sketch something relevant to what you are hearing. This can help you remember the things being said. Number three, read regularly. Reading is an unnatural habit. Reading is just one way to mentally exercise. Exploring fiction novels, for example, can introduce you to interesting creative concepts such as complex worlds, storylines, puzzles and characters. Another easy way to practice mentally challenging games and puzzles is by using an app on your phone or another mobile device. Number four, write. Try recording your thoughts in a journal at the end of each day. Writing encourages you to think critically about your daily experiences and ideas. Finding ways to apply critical and analytical thinking is a great way to exercise your mental abilities. Number fifth, exercise. Taking care of your physical and mental health can help put you in an optimal position to practice and apply creative thinking. Adding regular exercise, if even for 20-30 minutes, two to three times per week is one way to be your best self at work. Creativity skills in the workplace. Some workplaces are creative due to the nature of the industry. Even if your workplace is not a naturally creative environment, there are things you can do to practice creativity. Choose diversity. If you have the opportunity, choose to be on a team of people who are not like you. Surrounding yourself with people who have different perspectives can broaden your own point of view and inspire new ways for you to do your work. Change your process. Make a change to the way you normally do things. Perhaps there is a particular task you have always done a certain way. Ask yourself why you do it that way. If there is no good reason why, try doing it differently. Draw your work. Whatever it is you are working on, whether a project, idea or task, describe it in a picture or a series of pictures. You don't have to be particularly artistic for this to be helpful practice. Change your environment. Changing the space around you can stimulate you to think in fresh ways about your work. This might involve reorganizing your office space or even moving to a different office. If you are limited with how you can rearrange your office space, consider decorating it and then periodically redecorating it. Not only is decorating a creative exercise, but the change can help you think creatively in your work. Listen to music, my favorite. If your situation permits, play music while you work. Music helps many people increase their creativity. Even if it doesn't directly affect your creativity, it can improve your mood, which may put you in a more creative frame of mind. How to highlight creative skills or creativity skills? Because creativity is a skill specific to certain industries, try to demonstrate your creative skills during your job search. There are ways you can incorporate your creative nature into every stage of the process, from your resume to interviews. 
Here are some suggestions for highlighting creativity skills. 1. Creativity skills for resume. Communicating your creativity skills on your resume is a good idea, no matter the job title, level or industry. You can do so in the bullets under your professional experience section or in a separate skills section. Reread the job description to prioritize relevant skills the employer is looking for. For example, if the job description states that the ideal candidate can quickly solve problems under pressure, consider when you have used creative thinking skills to navigate complex issues and come up with solutions to solve them. Here is an example of using creative skills on your resume in a professional experience bullet point. Identified opportunities to reduce waste, improving ordering and vendor relations which resulted in 15% revenue increase. Creative skills listed in a separate skill section might look like this. Skills, creative problem solving, managing complex client relationships, attention to detail, proficiency with CRM software. Creativity skills for a job interview. In a job interview, listen for behavioral questions that are designed to highlight creative thinking. Here are some examples. Tell me about a time when you have had to think creatively to solve a problem. Can you give me an example of an innovative product assigned to you and how you handle it? Describe a time when you took an existing process and improved it. Before the interview, consider how you might answer questions like these to explain your practical use of creative skills. Consider using the STAR method to address behavioral questions like these. Be sure to use specific examples and emphasize how the company benefited from your solutions. I hope with these details laid down, now you will be more creative. And if you are not so far, help and try yourself giving it a best shot of yourself towards these process that has been just laid down for you all. Best wishes. Thank you.